Hi everyone, welcome to Whack, uh, fucking Whack Comics. I'm in the city here today, about to pick up my comic books. But first, I thought I'd take you on a little tour of Brisbane City. Here we have some kangaroo statues to remind you that we're in Australia. We can't really forget that. This is the, the big clock tower here in Brisbane. This is in King George Square, which I believe is named after George Harrison from the Beatles. Uh, King George Harrison, as he's referred to. Uh, this is the little square outside Hungry Jack's. Back when I was a teenager, this is where all the scene kids used to hang out in their emo clothes and shit. This was this was the place the beat was popping. DVD King, they have the best selection of DVDs you can find at the moment because there's everyone who doesn't sell DVDs, but this guy, these guys have a lot, and they also have a lot of pop finals and cool stuff uh, like that as well. Always a good store to, to visit. I think I bought my first pop final ever from there as well. Um, yeah, awesome store. Mr. Toy World, Mr. Toys World, I should say. It's I fucking always loved going to Mr. Toys World. They always have some fucking awesome shit. There's some masks. I haven't bought a new mask in ages, and I really want not like a real nice one like that. The Todd McFarlane uh, DC figures are fucking great. I love these. Uh, but this is what I really love. The Dragon Ball figures here. They all look so fucking good, especially these ones. How good is the box art on these things? Holy shit. Uh, we've got some random uh, stuff here, <laughs> and there's some turtles, some turtle goodness. Uh, who doesn't love Ninja Turtles? Rocking Horse is one of the oldest uh, independently owned stores in Brisbane City, and uh, they have some really cool old school merch. Look at that fucking Yellow Submarine record player, holy shit. But they've got so many good records, this is where I come when I, when I need my records and shit, you know? Uh, EB Games, they have like probably the biggest pop vinyl collection around uh, in Brisbane City. Mr. Toy World might have them matched actually, but they still have like a fucking massive variety of shit like Mr. Uh, Toy World always does. But here's comics etc. My main squeeze, uh, I fucking love this shop, I've been going here forever, but here's a little um, quick little tour of the store. I love this in the middle, I always put up little photos of this on Instagram when I go um, to the store, but the, the Superman and Iron Man here, and all the street signs just make it so fucking good. All that wall is manga, that is a fucking massive manga section, that front wall there used to be the new release wall, but they've been selling that much manga that they fucking had to give it a bigger area, it used to be this, this one little thing right at the back corner, but now they've got the main spot right down the front, that's a little new release for Marvel, and on the other side of that is the new release of DC. But here we've got some uh, hard covers and trades and stuff like that, and then here we go, that's uh, the new release wall there. But yeah, great little store, I love it. And if you're ever in Brisbane, go check it out on Elizabeth Street. Alright, time for the haul part of the video. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Brisbane City and uh, comics etc. My local comic book store, the main squeeze. I've been going there for fucking like 13 years now. I love that store. It's my favourite. First up, Marvel, because we only got one Marvel book this uh, month, and it's Sensational She-Hulk. Uh, I've been loving this run. Uh, it changed to Sensational She-Hulk recently, and it's only up to number four. But it's the same writer. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same artist or not, but same writer. On to DC now. This is Titans from uh, my main man, Tom Taylor, my fellow Aussie. Um, I'm a little bit sad with this issue because Nicola Scott is uh, not on art anymore. I hope she comes back eventually though because having a Aussie collaborative team pair on a fucking book was, was so good, you know? And I, I'm a little bit sad that Nicole's not on anymore, so hopefully she comes back. Titans Beast World number four, number five, and number six. I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about Beast World. I've still got a lot of catching up to do on it, obviously, so. I'll make my own opinion once I've, I've read it all. And of course I had to get this uh, Robin Lives, this is uh, the fucking... If people would have voted to keep the little cunt alive. And uh, we finally get the story about what would happen if the little cunt didn't die. So, here, here is that story. On to Image Comics now, The Weatherman, number one, volume three. Uh, I fucking love The Weatherman. Here's the first two trades to The Weatherman. If you if you haven't fucking heard about it, go fucking hunt it down. Transformers, Daniel Warren Johnson, fucking killing it on this. Uh, to be honest, I haven't read 
Transformers comic books before this, I don't know if Transformers are this brutal when they just fucking straight up clap humans and stomp on them and shit. I've never, I never thought Transformers could be like that, and I'm fucking all here for it. Let me know if they did that in the comics before, because I need to know. Tenement by my boy Jeff Lemire. Uh, I don't know if I've ever said this, but Jeff Lemire is my favorite creator of all time. This is issue eight of Tenement, um, ten issue series of the the Bone Orchard Mythos, and this has been a fucking a great story so far. Very uh, confusing as to what's going on, but I'm in for the ride. I'm Jeff Lemire. I'm Lee's first favorite creator, uh, as opposed to Matt Kent, who's his second favorite creator. So, as always, I'm better than Matt, and you're watching Black Comics. Jeff Lemire strikes again. Phantom Road. Fuck me dead. Phantom Road has been so good, man. I fucking love everything uh, Jeff Lemire does. He's my favorite creator of all time. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but Phantom Road is something fucking different from him. And uh, yeah, big mystery, trying to find out what's going on. But I like being little drip fed little bits, you know, instead of just fucking here you go, here's everything, which creates more of a mystery. And, and I'm fucking loving it. He's doing a great job. What's this? Jeff Lemire again, Fish Flies, uh, issue four. This is the A cover, and this is the B cover. It's a little uh, a thing, and it's a homage and a thing. And I, I know what thing it's homaging, but. Uh, fish flies has been amazing. I fucking love fish flies. Um, I'm up to new territory now because before I think issue one to three was released in when he was doing the Substack. So I was rereading it and been like, yes, I remember all that from the Substack. But now it's uh, new new ground, and I'm excited. Holy shit! Four Jeff Lemire books. Let's go. Black Hammer the End number five. This is the second last issue. And it's been fucking bonkers, man. This has been such a good story. Uh, so many fucking black hammers coming, uh, hammer characters coming together uh, for this book. You know, from all the spin-offs that we've had, they're all fucking culminating into this uh, this event right here. And it's been fantastic. Quick stops. Uh, this is Quick Stops issue two, volume two. The first Quick Stops was an anthology about the viewers universe. Uh, Kevin Smith is writing this, but this uh, second one is not an anthology. It's the story of movies, uh, how movies come to be. So it's, uh, it's been pretty good so far. The first issue was fun and uh, keen to read the second one. Now we have Dear Editor by my fellow Wazzy Ryan K. Lindsay. Okay, this is actually a, a reprint of this story. This is a coloured version, but it's just black, white, and blue. Because I don't know how much colour you can really call that, but it's it's got blue in it, and it didn't have blue in it before. This is the original cover for issue one, and uh, fuck yeah, the cover is a lot better for for the new um, printing of it. But I had to grab it, even though I've got uh, all four issues, uh, three issues of the first series. I have to support my um, my fellow Aussies, you know what I mean? And Ryan K. Lindsay is a fucking bomb. I interviewed him. He was the first creator that I interviewed in person, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll try and link that at the end or something so you can check it out. Down, down. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, it's a narwhal. Narwhal, bitch, it's a narwhal. You never seen a motherfucking narwhal, huh? Alright, on to trades. Click Click Boom from Doug Wagner. I actually interviewed Doug Wagner as well. We talked about Click Click Boom, plush, vinyl, plastic. Um, he's a really fucking cool guy to chat to. Um, if you haven't seen that interview and you're interested uh, in these titles, I would fucking uh, suggest watching it. This was a, a really good, really good read. <laughs> oh man, that's mean. That's, uh... <laughs> Now we have the trade for World's End. I'm pretty sure this is like three trades in one, because it's a bit of a thicker one. Uh, but I've always wanted to read World's End. I think it's a, a cool concept. And then, you know, with that little quote up the top there, if you can read that. It says it's really great. Jeff Lemire said it's really great. And I don't know if anyone knows this, I don't know if I've ever said it before, but Jeff Lemire is my favorite creator of all time. So uh, I'll take his word on it. If he says it's really great, must be real great. Kevin Smith is up again with Masquerade uh, with Annie McElfresh. They used to do a show together, a podcast. What was it called? Edumacation? I'm pretty sure it was Edumacation. That was the podcast they used to do together. But um, this has been pretty fun. I was picking it up in single issues, but I thought uh, I'll just pick up a um, hard cover so I dropped single issues. 
And um, yeah, I think I haven't read any of this volume, so I'm keen to, to read it and see where it's going. Savage Dragon, the Ultimate Collection Volume 2. It feels like I've been waiting on this for fucking ever. The first one came out fucking, I don't even know when last year. I think it was the beginning of last year. And it, it, I swear it took a good year for the, uh, in between books. And I really like this uh, collection they're doing. It, it reminds me of um, the Invincible Collection, the same sort of format and even almost the same presentation on the spines. But uh, yeah, Savage Dragon, awesome shit. I'm keen to get into more Savage Dragon. Now we have a little bit of manga for you. Um, I'm a manga, manga man. So I like to read my manga. This one is this little uh, hardcover manga. This is my first uh, little hardcover manga book like this size. They're all usually soft covers and shit. But this one's called Tokyo These Days. I read the synopsis and it sounded really interesting. Um, pretty sure it's about uh, an editor that is quitting and um, that's all I can remember. I haven't read it yet, so I'm gonna give it a go. Next up is the Vinland Saga, uh, the deluxe edition. And when I pre-ordered this, I didn't realize it was gonna be this format. This is like the same format as those Berserker deluxe editions. Berserk? Berserker? I don't know what it's called. It's one of those two. But um, I don't know if I want it. This is, uh, this is the same reason why I don't buy Omnibus, is because they're fucking too big and I, I, they're not comfortable to read. I like to take books out with me and read and I can't take this shit out with me. Um, I don't know if it's good. Maybe I'll, I'll search up how good the series is because I really liked it from the synopsis, but yeah, I just fucking, these things are so big and stupid. I don't want it. To be honest, I haven't been able to read any fucking thing lately because I'm making my way through this. This is the Pokemon box set. And uh, it's a complete box set, we've got volumes 1 to 20 in here. Uh, at the moment, volume 15 is missing because that's where I'm up to. And it's... F the best thing I've ever read. And I've read a lot of fucking shit. And I don't think I've ever been this invested into characters and a story in my whole life. Um, I've never wanted characters to succeed more. I've never wanted their dreams to come true as much as all of these guys dreams to come true. Uh, this is from the same creative team as Death Note, so it's uh, really well written and drawn. Uh, it's about two uh, kids that want to create their own manga, and it's fucking, like I said, just the best thing I've ever fucking read, ever. And, and I'm like, still got a little bit, still got six books to go, so. Yeah, that's it, that's everything I got. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you enjoyed the vlog, the little bits at the beginning, um, I, mean, I, I could possibly do more of that, or I could possibly not, but that's it.